It is the FedEx Cup postseason finale this week where it always ends at the Tour Championship at Eastlake in Atlanta, Georgia. A man on the road throughout the FedEx Cup playoffs at the third and final spot. Keith Stewart joins us live right here on this Tuesday on the early line on Sports Grid. Keith, as always, we appreciate the time. Thanks for being here on the Spiz Grizz Network. Well, you know what, Donnie, Ben, it's great to be back with you on a Tuesday, but it's not great to be back in the heat and the humidity of sea level. Man, mm. it was spectacular last week in Denver. I didn't know how good I had it, but we're back here in hot Atlanta, and we're ready to go on a brand new, newly renovated East Lake Golf Oof. Club. And we'll see what that means this week for the Tour Championship. Last week, out in Castle Rock, Colorado, at the BMW Championship, the second leg of three in the FedEx Cup playoffs. It was the United States Ryder Cup captain in 2025. Keegan Bradley still doing it out there with the sticks, winning that second leg. He will enter East Lake in fourth out of the 30 guys that have made it to the Tour Championship. And Keith, it looks a little bit different this week. You have the starting strokes, the staggered start component of the Tour Championship. As simply as you can, explain the format, please, to all of our viewers here on the early line. So all of these guys, the top 30 that have made their way here to East Lake for the Tour Championship, have been accumulating FedEx Cup points since January. Wherever you lie on the FedEx Cup list, through the top 30 is where you get these staggered strokes. And the tour did this back in 2019 in an effort to not have a winner at Eastlake, but also a FedEx Cup winner. So they're giving an advantage to those who have played the best. So number one at 10 under par, starting before the tournament even begins, is Scotty Scheffler, the number one player in the world. Seven wins, a gold medal, and a green jacket does get you something. It gets him two strokes over number two, which is Xander Shoffley, who's got those two major championships. He's back there at eight under par. And then it goes down the list from there. So this way, whoever wins on Sunday, whoever has the lowest score on the scoreboard will be your FedEx Cup champion and earn $25 million. Big time payday up for grabs. Keith, tell us a little bit about the East Lake Golf Club there. It looks like a par 70, about 7,300 yards. How does this set up? And also, who might it benefit this golf course here during this tournament this week? Well, Donnie, here's the thing. It was a par 70, but since last mm. year's tournament, they brought in architect Andrew Green. He redid Oak Hill for the PGA, famous name, up-and-comer in the architecture business, and they spent all year, and it's 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 been a tight timeline, but they have redesigned the golf course. They have renovated back to those Donald Ross days. Forgotten are the muted moguls of Reese Jones that he when he came in and he kind of turned this place into just a Bermuda Gardens. It's back, it's authentic, and it's back to that Donald design that everybody is going to love. He's opened up a lot of the, the view, view lines. He has given these guys the opportunity to now play a classic design with a little bit of a modern twist. We're going to add one par. It's going to be par 71. The 14th hole is going to go from a four to a five, and we're going to add 144 yards. But here's the kicker, and this is why you know Green knows what he's doing. He lengthened 14 holes but he shortened three of them. And keep an eye on that eighth hole. It is along the East Lake, and it is a drivable par four now, which is going to be really, really entertaining. So, Keith, the last two years, Scotty Scheffler, world number one, has entered East Lake at 10 under in the top spot in the FedEx Cup standings. But he has failed to win the FedEx Cup. Rory McIlroy back in 2022, Victor Hovland getting it done in 2023. In fact, Scheffler has struggled a little bit at the Tour Championship. He has called the staggered start, the starting strokes format silly, even as recently as the last few weeks. Scotty Scheffler for a third straight year enters Atlanta in that top spot, the favorite to win the FedEx Cup. Will year number three be the charm for Scotty Scheffler? Ben, I'm not so sure. I think Scotty's in his own head, and we saw it last week out in Denver. He didn't play very well, adjusting to the altitude. And it seems like when everything's cookie cutter, Scotty is no doubt the best player in the field. But when there's anything that throws him off just the slightest bit, oh boy, I would watch out for Xander. I mean, I think he is definitely the play to win the FedEx Cup. He's only two strokes behind. And you look at his history here at Eastlake, and I know there's been a redesign, but in seven trips previously, He's won the gross low score three times.
right? So even through the staggered start, this guy is still playing the best over four rounds and making the most birdies with him in second place. And, you know, last week in the press room, he was all fired up to get down here and get to one of his favorite places on tour. Uh, you know, I, I think Scotty's in a lot of trouble. I think it's going to be three for three that Scotty loses the FedEx mm. Cup on the final week of the year. How about that? You take a look at Scotty Shuffer at the FanDuel Sportsbook, plus 110 price. You see Xander Schauffele at a plus 230 price. But you got some big numbers for some really good golfers, Keith. Give me a guy or two maybe down the board that you might be hunting this week at East Lake. All right, so there's two different ways to play this, guys. There, there'll be a shadow tournament out there, which will be the 72-hole gross score. So forget the starting mm -hmm. strokes. And that's where you're going to get the longer numbers. And there's a guy by the name of Sam Bermuda Burns. And we are down here mm -hmm. where the Bermuda grass is just flourishing, especially on mm -hmm. those greens, which are recently planted. And here's the thing. As a PGA professional, I'm here to tell you, that when you plant those greens, when they first come out, they are super, super grainy. So this will be as Bermuda as it gets down here. And Sam Burns in the gross tournament, forget those st those staggered start strokes, right? That's going to cut everyone's number super, super short. Find it on FanDuel. Look for the, the shadow tournament for the 72-hole gross winner. And I like Sam Burns, right? Okay, guys, 12th at the 3M, 5th at the St. Jude on Bermuda grass second last week out there in Denver. The guy is playing great and there's no doubt he can adjust to these new greens and make a ton of birdies. So Xander Shoffley at plus 230. Keith likes the look with the early leans here on the early line to be that FedEx Cup champion when all is said and done and Sam Burns just to have the best week in Atlanta at Eastlake. That is the structure of the Tour Championship, the third and final spot at the FedEx Cup postseason. Keith, battle that humidity down there in Atlanta. And if you see Brent Key, the head coach of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, tell him congrats from both mm. of us on a great outright victory over Florida State mm. in Dublin. I'm going to spend some time over at Georgia Tech, no doubt, with the golf team. So I'll be sure to look him up and pass along your words from the early line. Keith Stewart, we appreciate the time. Enjoy the week at Eastlake. More on the early line up next.